Hey there, Builder Blog. Zachary Lytle here, Captain of Scorpios, and I'm going to tell you a robot fighting secret. That's right, after 20 years of competition, there's one super easy thing you can do the night before any tournament to greatly increase your chances of winning, and I'm going to show you right now. So please like and subscribe to the Builder Blog, and let's get to this tip. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Swoosh. Uh, we just finished him. I kind of loosely modeled him a little bit off Kraken. Or I should say I borrowed some inspiration from Kraken. This uh, this was originally designed by a fan and submitted to us to build during our Help Me Build a Robot episode. Um, Swoosh is having some problems here. And this old robot fighting trick, I think, will be just the thing it needs to fix itself. Um, tires. They're overlooked. They're overlooked a lot. And uh, the traction you get specifically determines how your robot maneuvers, how well you can push your opponent, how well you can control your opponent, and how well you can dodge your opponent. That all is just based off the traction of your wheels. And a lot of people keep thinking, if I want to push better, I need a bigger motor. That is incorrect. You need more traction. Uh, most robots have more than enough force to break traction on their tires. So if you are going forward and your tire is spinning, um, that means all your motor power is not actually getting to the floor and uh, it's just being wasted. So people often ask, what's the fastest way to increase traction? And uh, by finding a soft durometer rubber, that's one way. But I find the best kind of combat wheels because soft durometer rubber is usually very heavy and very fragile. I love the FingerTech Light Flight wheels, and you can see I'm using a FingerTech hub as well. But my final thing is I coat them in Flowable Silicone. Now, this is the particular brand I really like and I've used to win all my RoboGame gold medals. And this is kind of a uh, well-kept secret among veteran builders. But if you coat your wheels in Flowable Silicone, and I'll show you how here in just a moment, you actually double the traction of your robot. You usually get like a 20 to 30% increase to your top speed. Um, you double your pushing power and your robot just gets a lot easier to control. Um, I will note this trick does not work on wood floors. Um, this is best for gymnasiums, metal floors, smooth floors. Um, if you're doing a wooden floor or a carpeted surface, you really want to look into a cleated style wheel. I'll pull up a video of what that looks like here. But let's go ahead and I'll show you how to coat your wheels in silicone. All right, so this is what I'm using. Silicone adhesive, and you can see I put the wrong stuff on the tire first, but that shouldn't matter. This step is easier with two people, but Diana's already asleep, so I'm back to how I used to do this by myself. So I'm just squeezing it on while I'm pushing forward on the radio. And then you get either a flat sheet of polycarb or a business card. I spin the tires and I try to even this out. It's a big dunk in there. And I try to get that out. Okay, so then second verse, same as the verse. All right, and now let me turn the robot off.
power down the radio. And the hardest part, you have to let it dry for 24 hours. Now this guy, I'm gonna re-silicone too. Um, if one side fails, go ahead and just peel the other side. I, I promise you, it's never far behind. And usually if one side has fallen off, the other side will peel relatively easily. Um, of course, Flapjack here, which was made by the Vasquez brothers, I really do. They We had our truck broken into and all of our robots stolen here in California. And I was about to have to cancel kids' parties. And uh, the robot community was amazing, and they came together. And they built me a new kit in a week. So we didn't have to cancel a single children's party just because some guy tried to make a quick buck hawking all my uh, robots. I bet he didn't even get very much. Used combat robots never sell well. But old Flapjack here is uh, still standing after a real long time, and he's still winning fights. He has definitely turned into one of my favorite robots. All right. Let's plug him in. This robot's running off Fingertech 22 to ones. They have nice low torque. All right. And if you get this big gunk on the side, I try to scoop it off. And then reapply it to the main part of the wheel. All right, that should do. And there we go. It's, yeah, that simple, that easy turn the robot off and the hardest part is staging it in such a way to let the wheels dry um, a great trick for getting the wheels off the ground find your electrical tape it makes an awesome little stand because then luckily this cracking robot or swoosh and so I'm just gonna leave those two there they will dry and and when they go to competition in the morning they will have double traction. Now, I don't, even though this is something you can do the night before, I would recommend doing this like a few weeks before and uh, practice driving with it because it will drastically change how the robot drives. Just to prove that point, I'm gonna prove that point. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Toxic Waste. This is Circuit Breaker for the they are essentially identical robots. They weigh the same. And the only difference is he has silicone wheels. He has Lego wheels. A quick test you can do just to see how much traction something has. You just push it to the side. You can actually feel how hard the robot is to push. And I can tell you right now, this robot is harder to push than that one. A lot of people don't know this. Static friction is actually greater than dynamic friction. What that means is when a robot has its wheels stationary and the motors are just braking, it actually has more traction than if the wheels are spinning. So right here, no silicone, I can't push this robot. Well, just barely. If I get a running start, I could just barely get it to move. Now, robot with silicone. Boom, pushing. Dead stop again. 
pushing. Silicone gives you more traction on a smooth surface. Proven. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this week's Builder Vlog. I hope it helps you win your next robot tournament. And I will catch you all next week. We do have a big announcement. And uh, make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss it. Hey, Builder Vlog. Like and subscribe. <laughs>